This is showing my Victron setup that I've put in the van and this is why I haven't had a video out for I think it's two weeks now but I'll just show you what I've been up to just in case anyone is interested in the Victron bits okay. so the Victron components we have we have a smart battery protect and it's the 1224-100 now this basically cuts the power from the battery when it gets down to a preset capacity and at the moment I have it set to 50%. Up here we have the MPPT 7515 solar charger. In the middle we have the Orion TR Smart 121230. Now this is the non-isolated DC to DC charger. And in the corner over here we have the Blue Smart charger 1230 three outputs. So power coming in, if we start from the van battery, down here in the corner, we have the van battery coming in to a 40 amp fuse. Now the reason I've done a 40 amp fuse is because on the Ford Transit Custom, the customer connection point is fused at 60 amps. So I want this fuse to blow before the Ford's fuse to blow because that's a real pig to get to. So then coming out of there we come up to an isolator and then it comes across into the DC to DC in. When the car is turned on and running it will then come down to the main live fuse buzz bar and charge my leisure battery. So to bring the leisure battery in we have a isolator down here up to the main buzz bar which then goes through the isolator into this Duratec two-way isolator switch. Now the reason I have this is the other cable coming in, I have a double battery on this van, and the other cable coming in comes through another 40 amp fuse into the number two side, and the battery charger comes into the number two side so when the battery charger is connected to mains, it will charge the leisure battery without anything happening on this switch. And when the battery charger is connected to mains, it will also charge my inside leisure battery. So this is set to one position, which is the internal leisure battery. If this SmartSense battery protect turns off, I'll get a notification and what I can do is then turn this over to the number two position and I can run on the van's leisure battery until I can get charged back into my main leisure battery. Down here at the bottom we have another 30 amp fuse switch which is actually going to be run into my diesel heater. And the reason this is separate is because I don't want the battery protect to turn the power off because the diesel heater needs to do its cool down period. So once I get to 50% I know my battery is getting lower and I can turn the heater off by myself. Coming up this way, MPT7515, I have a 120 watt solar panel on the roof which comes down these black wires here and this is acting as a double pole isolator so I can hit these two buttons and the solar panel will be isolated from the system the power then comes through the MPPT to this isolator and then into the main positive fuse bar so when I do have sunshine that will then charge back down and through to the leisure battery. This is my main negative buzz bar which has the negative coming in, has a negative coming from the battery protect, has a negative from the MPPT, negative from the DC to DC charger and also the negative from the Blue Smart charger. You've already seen the power 240 so if I now bring you up to the top section which is a little bit darker we have a 240 panel here which has a 25 amp and then three outlets 
I'm not looking at using this for power in the van other than for the battery charger. Then over here we have the main power buzz bar which comes up from the one below and comes into this box. On the box we've got six fuses on this side and six fuses on that side. I've still got to wire this lot up more yet. But behind this panel here I have two transformers, a 12 volt to 5 volt transformer which goes up to this fuse board and there's a 12 volt to 24 volt transformer which will go up to this fuse board. And the reason for those two is that I'm having Philip Hue lights in here so I need the 5 volt for the hub and I need the 24 volt to run the lights. Oh, well, I hope this was interesting for someone. If you have any questions or would like to know more details, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.